And so, oh, go, go ahead, go ahead, please, yeah, please. Yeah, We're both we, just so excited. We both know that it's Dave. It's just been so sunny, and <laughs> even though the temperatures were cooler than they were yesterday, I mean, let's face it, yesterday was not normal. Yeah. So and today, really, it hasn't been bad. It's been nice. So here's something wild. You know how much snow we've had this month? How much? Just a trace. Bingo. Yeah. Which would be a record if that held. And that is not. Oh. It's what you expect for February in yeah. Ohio. We've had more days in the 70s this year than we've had days in the 20s. Wow. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah, wow. yesterday was completely abnormal and today is more normal, although we had lots of sunshine, which seems to always be an abnormality in the month of February, but we will take it live by for radar. We are watching this little system off towards the west right now, well off towards the west. That could bring some of us a little bit of activity as we head in towards tomorrow morning. You notice we've still got a fair amount of sunshine right now showing up on satellite and it is a beautiful looking afternoon on the Mr. Ritter tower camera. Just a little brisk outside as temperatures right now are generally in the upper 30s to lower 40s. We're sitting at 41 right now in the city. We've got numbers off towards the north and west in the 30s right now. This is more typical for late February with numbers in the low to mid 40s off towards the south and east. Winds are not exceptionally strong, which is a nice break. I will say that after we've had a couple of breezy to windy afternoons, it's nice to have just a very light breeze out there, but it is making for a bit of a wind chill. So if you are getting out and about this evening, running errands, going out, just having fun, it is going to have a little bit of a in the air this evening, and this will continue to be the case overnight tonight as we'll keep that wind at about four to eight miles per hour. So things are quiet locally on the radar. You'll notice in the pinpoint forecast through the overnight hours tonight, we're going to watch as cloud cover slowly starts to increase, especially after midnight tonight. So numbers will fall back a couple of degrees above normal for overnight lows in the upper 20s. But as I mentioned, we're going to be watching that system off towards the west. It does appear that the majority of the very light moisture associated with it will push along and south of I-70. We may have some wet snow showers mixed with some snow flurries overnight tonight, uh, late overnight tonight, and into the early morning hours between about 5 and 8 a.m. on Saturday. And then as we head towards mid and late morning, you'll notice cloud cover starting to erase itself once again, and we will see drier air taking over again, and sunshine being the rule by the late in the day, and that will push temperatures back above normal into the upper 40s. So tonight, numbers pretty close to normal. Normal's 26. We'll be at about 28 here in the city. Some mid to upper 20s off towards the north and east overnight tonight. As we head into the day tomorrow, again, we'll have a couple of those snow flurries around, mainly south of the city to start the morning off early. But by mid-morning, we begin to see the clouds thinning. We'll get up to 48 for the afternoon high tomorrow. Nice finish to the weekend at 56 as cloud cover increases. It will be a wet start to the work and school week on Monday, but a warm and breezy one at 63. We'll drop into the upper 40s on Tuesday, back into the upper 50s on Wednesday. We'll stay in the 50s with rain returning. Thursday and as showers taper, we fall back to near normal by next Friday. All right.